Order. Order. Question number six, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr Speaker, this question is to the Minister for Primary Industries and asks, is it a fact that he has received serious warnings to New Zealand's biosecurity over the importation of excrement from horses, cattle and chickens and ignored these serious warnings? Mr the, Speaker. The Honourable Louise Upston. On behalf of the Minister, I have referred a number of submissions and correspondence about mushroom substrate to MPI officials, and officials have been taking them all very seriously. I have not ignored any submissions or correspondence. All have been referred to my officials for consideration. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Right Honourable Winston Peters. What does it take to be prosecuted by this government when Mercer Mushrooms was granted a permit on 25 June 2015 to import compost made of oats, hay, urea, gypsum and mushroom spawn, which a tip-off later revealed to contain incredibly high-risk animal manure? The Hon. Louise Upston. On behalf of the Minister, um, there were some allegations that were made uh, by a competitor uh, when they were made aware MPI undertook a thorough investigation to look at the issue and establish any facts before taking action. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Right hon. Winston Peters. Is it normal practice for his ministry to take four months to action a tip-off, then do absolutely nothing about that tip-off despite confirming serious breaches of the biosecurity legislation and potential fraud relating to altered and backdated manufacturer's certificates? The Hon. Louise Upson. Uh, Mr Speaker, there was, as on behalf of the Minister, as I said, an allegation that was made. Uh, MPI made inquiries uh, about the substance uh, and were advised about uh, the content. Uh, further questioning, uh, then the authority, the MPI equivalent authority overseas, um, then provided additional information which has led now to action that MPI has taken. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Right hon. Winston Peters. Uh, when this country's biosecurity, uh, biosecurity is critical to its economic future, if MPI sent an email on 6 November 2015 saying this, we were not aware of the two pathogens that you identified, this to local mushroom producers who had flagged serious concerns over imported mushroom spawn, why did it take six further months for the imports to stop? Mr. The Honourable Louise Upson. On behalf of the Minister, as I uh, said before, the overseas body, that's the MPI equivalent, uh, had stated when originally asked uh, that those um, items, were animal matter, were not contained in the mushroom substrate. Uh, under further investigations, it was found that it did, and that has triggered the import health standards process. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston. Is he right and dairy New Zealand wrong when they wrote, and I quote, animal manure can contain the infectious agents for a number of economically important animal diseases, for example, foot and mouth disease, as well as weed seeds, animal parasites and microorganisms. Dairy NZ is of the view that animal manure products should not be imported in New Zealand. Is he right and they wrong? Mr. Smith. The Honourable Louise Upstein. On behalf of the Minister, uh, as I said before, uh, once the matter was identified as animal matter, um, the imports were stopped immediately and an import health standard has been triggered. Um, officials have identified a number of diseases that uh, potential diseases that could be contained uh, and that standard will not be approved unless officials are confident that the risks can be mitigated. Any question? Supplementary question, right hon. Winston. Why is this minister saying that the imports were stopped immediately when all the evidence plainly before her is that it took six months to stop and why did the taxpayers foot the bill for his officials to fly to Europe and then create a standard so preposterous that it defies common sense? Yeah, yeah. Mr Speaker. The, on, uh, the hon. Louise Upson. On behalf of the Minister, as I said, um, MPI have been working with the Overseas Competent Authority. As uh, soon as that was determined that there were animal products in the substrate, substrate further shipments were suspended. Um, for the shipments that were already on the water, uh, the product was treated 
MPI also back-checked previous shipments of the substrate and couldn't find any issues. Given the complaint that was made by a competitor, it was appropriate that MPI undertook a detailed investigation and established all facts before taking further action. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Right, Honourable Winston. Why is this minister referring to a competitor when the draft import health standard for what is crap failed to address any of the concerns raised by mushroom producers, plural, Dairy New Zealand and the New Zealand Equine Health Association, or is importing the excrement of cattle, horses, chickens really a metaphor for his performance as a minister? Mr. The Honourable Louise Upston. On behalf of the minister, um, it is a detailed process for an import health standard to be considered. Um, I'm hoping the member is aware that actually all the parties that you've referred to are consulted in this process. Um, I hope they have submitted uh, and no decision has been uh, reached because the consideration of the submissions are still being uh, is still open. Question. Supplementary question. Right, Honourable Winston Peters. Um, is the Minister for Prime Ministries on this question of biosecurity going to make a statement of a mortal rust being found on Raoul Island? that poses a mortal threat to iconic New Zealand species, native species like Pahutukawa and Manuka, Rata and possibly Kauri, for example. Is the Minister going to make a statement about that? Yeah. The Honourable Louise Upston. Uh, on behalf of the Minister, this government does take biosecurity very seriously, which is why a complaint like this is acted on. Um, officials take action. Point of order. The right Honourable Mr. Minister. On the serious matter, what does one to Glean from that answer that the minister will make a statement or won't make a statement. The, the, the question was very difficult to understand. The, the question, the minister then has addressed the question. If the member is not happy with it, he proceeds with further supplementaries. If he had any left on this particular occasion, he hasn't got any more today. Point of order. The that right is on. my very point, Mr. Speaker. We have a limited number of supplementary questions, and to put out the prospect of further questions when the Minister has abated an answer is hardly to be fair from the point of view of uh, public disclosure of important information fair itself. And I've on many occasions advised the member if he can tighten his questions then order then I could assist him but when there are questions like the mem members asked difficult for me to assist him. Question. Point of order. Right on. Can I avail myself of your literary understanding now? Could you possibly tell me how I could have tightened that question any closer? I'm very happy to give the member a tutorial on what any basis? Order. If the member would like it, I'm happy to give him my services uh, free of charge over a cup of coffee. <laughs> question. Question. Order. Question number seven, Eugenie Sage. Tanako, Mr. Speaker, thank you. My question is to the Minister for Primary Industries and asks, does he stand by his statement that FishServe has no conflict of interest in its role monitoring the fishing industry, despite being a wholly owned subsidiary?